Hello everybody, welcome to the AeroBB Cycle 4 Playoffs Preview. Uh, joining me in the booth is Sporkbearer and Kalon. Hello. Hello. Hey there, mate. Hello, yeah, so this is very clever. They've got a they've got a very fancy website which has got uh, well that's not true. A very fancy Google Sheet. <laughs> <laughs> which has all of the uh, draw on here and there's like about six divisions isn't there i believe there's six divisions mm -hmm. uh with all people going to the playoffs so you can see it here i guess i can link things as well in the description um mm -hmm. and it's all pathed out there there's a draw there's all the teams so we can just go through matchup by matchup i guess like go all through the teams through by matchup so yeah uh, yep yeah, top left we've got Elliot. We do. So, uh, yeah, so Elliot, the first of our uh, competitors who has uh, got the buy in the first round for having finished uh, top of the Division 1. Yeah. Uh, pretty fantastic record. It's a pretty fantastic team. And I suppose he's all right. He's all right. Yeah. Uh, he did take Fend on a war dancer. Oh, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah he did, yeah. Because he'd run out of good skills. Uh, I, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> Never again. <laughs> I love well, Elliot. The fantastic thing is that I know that Elliot, like, because he's so such a control freak, he has it set to manual. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, is that, is that the reason that he did? <laughs> he thinks he has Dauntless. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so one yeah. of them does have Dauntless, but the other one has got Mighty Blow and Fend. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, Oof. I suppose it stops him getting piled on, right? Sidestep it Fend is pretty annoying. It's not bad on a catcher. It's just weird on a war dancer. I just thought it's weird on the mighty like... blow one as well, right? Because if anyone's yeah. blitzing somebody, you want it to be the mighty blow guy. So he's the one that you would assume had the dauntless, and the other guy would be the Fend because he'd be the more harassy one. So you weren't putting your mighty blow on the line. Mm -hmm. But but that's Elliot. You know, he's a bit backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I loved it. Martin Septon <laughs> suggesting that it was because Dimmy said Fend is such a great skill. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dimmy loves Fend, doesn't he? Oh he Dimmy God. fucking loves Fend. Like. <laughs> oh my God, that was so good. So, yeah, that's pretty cool, isn't it? He, so he, he was first, yeah, first in Division 1, Elliot. Mm -hmm. There you go, that's a... It's a stunning team, it's really, really nice. He's managed to keep most of the stuff healthy as well, which is amazing. Uh, he's lost some catchers along the way. He did have a couple of guard catchers, I believe. But, you know, you're used to taking... Uh, it's over over the course of the three uh, seasons, you'd, uh, you'd expect to take some casualties. Yeah, a few trees, including a move-up tree, which is terrible to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's lost a bunch of trees. He's lost a lot of... But he's, he's kept the, like, the core good players alive. Yeah. And everything else has come and gone. And now this is the best team he's had for ages. He's had like loners in like pretty much every game this season, I think. Yeah. And then now he's got 170 cash. He could have two poor players. He could have like 13 players. What else team? Yeah. Which is just insane, right? So like it's gorgeous, yeah, amazing, and, and, and really nice to have that level to take as well. Because uh, I mean, I imagine it's sidestep unless it's a double. Um, but yeah, cool to have a, a level pending going in and a bit of extra money in the bank. Make up your mind as to how things go. And of course. Not it's been uh, <laughs> not, not being able to uh, not having to play the first game as well gives him another opportunity to kind of hold off on making any decisions. Yeah, it's he's he's timed it right. Like it's funny because you know he uh, he took all those cars and then uh, and then he's got a nice run. We'll we'll have a stark contrast to that in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But um, right next, so the the next he'll be playing the winner of this next match. Yes. Which we'll have to try and speed through the others a bit, to be honest. Like maybe, maybe give special time to the the buy people because they've done better. But everyone else, we're going to have to try and speed through a little bit. No worries. So we've got Raging Eighty Two here, mm. and there's his team. So uh, Raging restarted in season two. Uh, he was playing Dark Elves in season one. Uh, the team died on him, and he restarted with Undead. Uh, you actually played him a couple of times, or you played him in in season yep. two. Yep. And he did really well for himself, to considering he was down like fourteen hundred, four hundred k at least in nearly every game. Incredible. Uh, yeah. So not only to get through that, but to get himself into a pretty high division and to finish up in the cup as well with the team that's only. Uh, I suppose it's Undead and stuff as well, right? So there's, that's obviously great, but. Uh, shipping a couple of injuries. Uh, real shame he lost his block guard mummy. Uh, it, two games from the end, so that was a bit uh, unfortunate. The white's not properly there. The mighty blow tackle ghoul is fucking hilarious. Yeah, very um, old school. That used to be the play before piling on became a thing. Uh, he also um, he had 
So. Yes, indeed. Yeah. No, you're fine. He also had a uh, in the last season. He was playing lizards and had a block mighty blow edge skink. <laughs> Okay, that's mad. <laughs> yeah, just actual madness. Uh, so, yeah, it'd be a real shame if something killed it. Mm. Uh, but, yeah, it's it's a fun team. Uh, it's nice and cheap, and it's pretty efficient. It's got some stuff, because you're going like, well, the whites don't have a mighty blow tackle. No, but the ghoul does. So mm. so there you go. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's pretty fun. Uh, it's a cool little team, um, and Raging's pretty solid. So uh, and it's a nice cheap team as well. Uh, probably one of the cheaper teams in the division overall, in the playoffs overall. So yeah, very well cheap, but obviously you know it is lacking a bit of top end power. But it is TV efficient, and uh, he finished yeah. fourth in Division Three, mm -hmm. um, and he's up against King Boo mm. from Division One. Indeed. So uh, viewers of the Jim Fantastic Show will be familiar with King Boo. He was the uh, the um, rat player from Division One. Yeah. Who, uh, well, he's, he has a navy, right? Um, so there was, uh, yeah, we, we, we've seen a chunk of his games this season. Now, the team kind of died, but the gutter runners didn't, and that's kind of all that matters. Uh, yeah. it, but, uh, it's so fucking annoying. <laughs> Look at all of those skills. All of those gutter runners are fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, and, it's, and it works it's out well, so the rest cheap. being rubbish, doesn't it? <laughs> yes, I mean, it's genuinely kind of good because the rest is all trash. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Just don't play, don't play Blood Bowl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just it's the it's a don't play Blood Bowl team. So yeah, um, yeah it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tough. That's good. that's a really interesting opening game. Weirdly enough, probably neither of them wanted the other one because uh, Undead are pretty annoying to face. Uh, they've got a mighty bow tackle ghoul, and uh, I'd say both of them were hoping to get a little bit more of inducements. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, interesting. So, yeah. Really interesting that they got each other first drive. And hello, Scrafiela. There's the, the man I was talking about earlier. Ah, hello. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think King Boo's got more power in his, you know, obviously in his four players, he's more min max, right? Whereas yeah. Raging is just more min min. But, you know, he, he's got a nice balanced team, and, you know, if, if the one turn fails, he's he's got half a chance. Uh, mm -hmm. King Boo finished seventh in Division One. There you go. That's. That's, did indeed. that's what that is. Um, so yeah, and, and the winner of those will, will play Eliot. Will play Eliot. Yeah, cool. So that's something right. to look forward to. Yeah. Then we've got that there, Phil, with his Nurgle. We know it's good knowing knowing the Division One teams like quite yeah. quite well now after doing all of the. Uh, and you'd be surprised. Reasons. I mean, there's quite a few of these guys you will have played in season one or season two. And one of the things that we are really like to encourage is the fact that you kind of slowly develop a history against certain other coaches as well. And uh, because we all know each other and the, the trash talk is nice because we're all very friendly and Irish and chatty. So um, I, I kind of like it. <laughs> Some of us are more chatty than others, though, eh? <laughs> well, <laughs> fair. Are you, still here? are you still here, Sport Bear, by the way? I'm listening. Okay, good. I knew how this was going to go. <laughs> we, do, we do have a pneumatic drill unleashed. <laughs> Um, yeah, so there you go. There's that. That feel a good, good team, isn't it? A pretty good team. Now he's even got the claws. Like before, he just looked like a, a bargain basement uh, org team, but now he's got the claws as well. It the the claws add such an extra dimension to it, and um, so it doesn't have piling on the proper killer, but um, the extra mighty blow on the on the other goat is pretty nice. Um, really useful um, rotters. Uh, great warriors, and one of the one of the warriors having the mighty blow claw is pretty great. Bit of a bit of a shit beast, but I mean, who cares, right? It's uh, it's fairly cheap and it's very efficient. It's yeah. not that cheap, is it? The, the third reroll adds such an amount of money. <laughs> yeah, it's nineteen. To, well, it's actually got seventy, right? It's got seventy above, 70 over, so it's yeah. it's actually eighteen forty. So it's yeah, it's. I mean, it's getting up now. It's getting up to kind of. It's looking like a Nurgle team now, basically. This is this is what you want to make it look like a Nurgle team. You've got a couple of claw, you've got a bunch of guard, and then you know you, you're getting there on the team. But uh, really, would like a would have like you'd like a fourth season, right? If you if you're an, as a yes. Nurgle coach, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty. This is about as good as you can get from thirty games in a in a league, I think. Yeah, yeah, really nice, really, really nice. And he's pretty good, fucking good coach as well, Phil. Yeah, yeah, and he's up against Jam Toast. Who uh, I will be able to find eventually. Yeah, Jam Toast, a regular member of chat, in fact, and um, another lad who's uh, who, who his undead team has um, been going pretty well. He uh, got to play you in season two. 
Yeah. Um, and uh, but did drop down to Division Three for the last season. But he's come all the way through, and uh, he's got a really, really nice team. The strength up is hilarious on the mummy because he should have <laughs> taken block, and he keeps on giving out about how he didn't take the block. <laughs> But uh, two stand for mummies, uh, like pretty much full. The break tackle and everything on the on the on the block piece is, is amazing. Uh, did take a ghoul casually recently, but that's fine. Uh, the rest of the ghouls are all really really good. And mm-hmm. full killer. Um, the rookie white is a shame, but it's still really really good. It's a really nice undead team. Yeah, but uh, I mean, I'd rather have the Nurgle in this match by a long way, yeah. but. You never know. You never know what can happen. Things can happen, can't they? Mm-hmm. Good luck to Jam Toast. Coming, yeah, uh, he's coming there fifth from Division th- Three. Your favourite division, of course. Favourite division, yeah. Everybody's favourite. <laughs> it's a pretty cool team, and uh, going to be a really cool game. Yeah, looking forward to watching that. Yep. I don't know if I'll cast them all. Do you know what? I might cast them all. I'm not sure. Uh, we'll, like we'll just see. as replays. Yeah, I'm, yep. I'm not sure. But, uh, it's a lot of games. Maybe from the second round, but I, I, I'm, I'm myself and Keith are going to do our best to keep to, to do a, a chunk of them as well, and and we've got the show tomorrow night as well. We'll hopefully get two of them in tomorrow night if this if oh, there's time. Right. Oh well, yeah, I might just do them from the second round. Then that that sounds good because mm. then that's the round that I'm in as well, isn't it? And then there's only exactly like, yeah. Then there's only eight. Yeah, yeah, that's that's uh, that's a lot easier. Um, right, and then next up we've got the third place team from Division Two. It's the Cock Club. Kalon Smashers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kalon Smashers. Uh, not quite as good as uh, Nick's colonoscopy. Kalonoscopy mm. was uh, was the really good one. It's pretty good though. And there's another couple of uh, Tapioca King has some uh, some Kalon related jokes in his uh, his team for next season, which is good to see. The old Kalon sucks balls meme uh, <laughs> continuing. Is, uh, is that a meme though? Can you can you count that as a meme? <laughs> What the, <laughs> I've it's a local it meme. The, it's a it's, it's a, a local meme. meme. It's the the lads all local meme for local people. I, exactly. I just thought it was fact though. That's what I meant. Like that's. I should just because I went to drama school. How very dare you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, you're a grunt. Uh, yeah. So here's we got Cox team, and uh, he didn't have to play the last three games, which is pretty great because he got some nice MVPs, and because he didn't have any actual opponents, he had no reason to unnecessarily kill any of his players. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's got a really nice team as well, hasn't he? It's funny these elves that have lost players all throughout the seasons. Like yeah. the first two seasons, they lost players, and then somehow in the third season, these you know Kalon and I don't know why I said Kalon's Eliod's Wood elves have come together. Yeah. Hancock's High elves have really come together. I assume Galentio's Pro elves have come together. Um, yeah, they're so, pretty yeah. good. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah, everything's looking really nice. It's 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 got thirteen men. It's got it's got money in the bank if he wants to do shit with it. He's got a level pending. It kind of does all of, all of what you want. He's got a lovely rattler. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's got a strength up catcher as well. He even has a pretty okay thrower with the leader and the and the dodge. So I mean, he's he's useful, you know. Yeah, love love that he's got the four three roll uh, there, you know, with leader. Yes. So. Really even nice the, you know, team. playing the chunter and coming on for the one turn is just having a, having a leader to come on for yeah. the for the one turn option is just brilliant. You know? and Thirteen players, so really really cool, really cool team for Hancock, and he's it's, it's tasty. It's funny he's against a fellow scouser in the in the playoffs. He is indeed, We're, yeah. And the the lads were trying to kick it off, and I had to say, "Calm down, <laughs> calm down, calm down." Hey, hey, hey. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What's their their wrestling name? What are the the lads called? Uh, just the Scousers. <laughs> just the Scousers, fantastic, perfect. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, he's up against uh, Steve Motti. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. uh, Steve's got a really cool team. Um, it's Blizzards. Uh, there's a little bit of extra skills on the on the Skinks, but you kind of don't mind because one of them's blood block with sure hands, and the other one is uh, sure hands and uh, catch. So you've got two pretty decent you've got ball carrier and ball retrieval and really annoying little harassy pricks um mm. probably not enough guard taking the dodge really early on and hoping that he get them to guard and it didn't quite work out for them they were still a little bit shy um yeah. uh has a couple of the mighty blow tackle is obviously great the block crocs of world stand firm is fucking superb yeah. and uh, and having an additional strength five guy is it's just a nightmare it's going to be tricky um it's a it's a cool team uh, but yeah, elves. 
is kind of exactly what he didn't want to face, right? Yeah, yeah. Even with the mighty blow tackler, this is this is verging on worst possible matchup for uh, yeah. for Steve here, and you know the injuries as well, and the you know the elves can just run around and hit those guys and stuff, and run away from the move five guy and tackle the Dodgers, and you know move away from the guys who'll beat them up, tag out the mighty blow tackler on bad players and stuff, and then abuse the ball carriers and the skink. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough, I think. For, for, you know, that's the, just the nature of the beast, isn't it? High TV, it is, yep. high TV yep. uh, lizard men struggle against high TV elves. So yeah, a bit of an unfortunate draw for for Steve. But you know, anything yeah. can happen, right? There's there's lots of yeah, hundred percent. I mean, there's an option. There's there a couple of options available to him as well because he's got money in the bank and he's got a spare skink and there's you know he could he could loosen up some cash as well because and then and then potentially get a wizard or something like that. And you can only go. Yeah. Uh, you can only yeah, so we do have the fair rules apply, so you can only spend an additional forty k. Yeah, yeah, but he could like sack a bunch of players and stuff, couldn't he? he could sack some yeah. of the skilled up skinks, maybe like even though he yeah. needs them to win, it's like it's yeah. it's rough because yeah, it's it's just a such super super tough matchup. Mm. So uh, yeah, now I mean, we've got to, it, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry we've, we've got to move on. We've got to move on, Kalon. No problem. Um, we've got Danton here with a bye. He finished third in Division One, and. Uh, you know, did very well overall uh, in in the league, and yeah, pretty pretty nice team. Oh, his his wolves just got supercharged, didn't they? Another they person whose teams come in together at the right time. He, both of his wolves got like key skill ups in the last couple of games. <laughs> well, I, I don't know if you mentioned this to either of you lads, but he actually lost some positionals fairly early on in the <laughs> league, and yeah. he was cool about it. He barely mentioned it. Mm. And uh, but he's managed to get everything back up and running. And uh, yeah, the last two skills on those wolves was fucking spectacular. Um, probably would have been nicer the other way round, right? Um, but yeah, if you're being very, very, very picky. But yeah, even then, sure. not so much, right? Because the sidestepper mighty blow can try and surf, can like blitz people and try mm. and surf them. And then if he powers them, he's got mighty blow. And if he doesn't, if he doesn't like, you know, if he surfs them, he's got sidestep. So. It's still, it's still. To, I guess it's the one turn is is worse, but you know you'd rather have the sidestep for the one turner. But it's still great having sidestep on the mighty blow guy. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a really cool team. Um, uh, and fair play to him. He's a he's an excellent coach as well. Has a bit of money. Has a level pending on his rackler on his uh, wrestle dirty player. And then if he got the double for sneaky gifts, um, <laughs> he definitely yeah, won't the, take it in blood bowl two. That's for sure. No. Yeah, just the, the three uh, guard is probably the major weakness, right? Yes, hundred so percent. Standard necro problem. And even the fact that that uh, replacement guard is a guy who was his killer who died like two games ago as well. So um, shows real caliber in the fact that he was able to get make a priority of getting that guy leveled uh, so that he could get to guard as well and be a useful member of the team. So, um, yeah, lovely team, uh, great coach. Um, and no surprise that he managed to get the, uh, the, the buy in the first round. Yeah, he uh, he beat Elliot and Drew versus me, so a great great results versus the Elves, like where their lack yeah. of guard doesn't really matter, right? So yeah, very sure. very scary for Elliot and myself, for mm -hmm. sure. And he'll be playing the winner of Sporkbearer versus Serenity. Yeah. So yeah, this is going to be fun. Uh, we've got a dark elf off. So Ooh. um yeah. we'll I've at... got no excuse when I lose this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, who can dack a harder, I think. <laughs> we both be at, camped in our ends vanity passing for fifteen turns. Glorious. <laughs> this this team is absolutely lovely. Like I yeah. loved by this team. It's really nice. He's got three blood stepping guards on the blitzers, he's got a mighty blow tackle, sidestep witch, he's got a lovely ball hawk witch. Uh, two guard linemen as well, like five guard is just fucking tasty. Yeah, a, a few, I've fed a few other linemen though, so <laughs> that's all right. They'll 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 get in the way. I mean, that's kind of their point, right? But yeah, it's a shame when you're even your linemen are that good uh, that you're like, shit, do I have to apple this KO <laughs> because that's one of my guard gone? But uh, yeah, I, I think this team can go really far. If it wasn't, you, you have know, to have the three tackle for this game. Yeah, hundred percent. Really nice to have the extra tackles. Yeah, mm. and um, yeah, even even alignment with tackle is just so good in the in the elf off matchup. But um, yeah, it's it's a really nice team. Well done, Sylvan. Excellent mm. team. Yeah. Yeah, third in Division Three. I mean, that is that is the dream of every Irishman. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm, sorry. I'm fully acclimatised. <laughs> One of us. One of us. Uh, and he's up against Saroni. Yeah, Saroni. Uh, Saroni. Uh, right, there you go. Sorry. My apologies. No uh, who was one of the ones from winner of Division Five? There you go. That's uh... yeah. So um, had took a lot of uh, uh, damage over the course of the seasons. To be fair, uh, over the cycle, so the team was kind of constantly up and down and taking a lot of casualties here and there. But what he's ended, what what we've ended up with is a fucking lovely team. It's really really nice. Do have an, uh, uh, an assassin and a runner in there, which are kind of. Not going to be great, but I mean they could, they could do some work on the day, right? The the assassin just having a uh, jump up. I, I'm not sure it's going to be a, a real worry. But having said that, the there are a couple of armor seven lads that can be easily kind of picked on. Mm. So uh, shame about the rookie witch. Uh, he did have a nice witch, but died. And that blitzer is is lovely. Um, not sure about the leap. I think sure hands probably a bit better, but leap is definitely more fun. No, I like the leap. Yeah, I like the leap. Hundred uh, percent. I'm very interested in what this uh, leap edge five blitzer is going to attempt to do. Right. So whatever it wants. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Whatever, it wants, yeah. <laughs> whatever it wants. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty pretty nice team. Four four players. Four guards. A super a superman. But yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, lacking a lot of skills compared to sparks. Like you know, all that yeah. sidestep, all the tackle. Uh, and one of them's a tackle mighty blow, isn't it? I believe so. Mm -hmm. Yep, the ball. Thank the you. ball is in your court. No pressure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's it's gonna be fun. Through. It's be fun. Through. Yeah. No, it's going to be really, really fun. It's going to be a cool game. I'm. Uh, I'm super hyped for it. Um, because the team TVs are actually quite similar as well, which is really interesting. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it is it is, but I mean, I'm I, you know, I, I look, I can't I can't tell a lie. There is a, there is a distinct advantage towards Spork here, but there is there is this you know this blitzer could maybe do something, and obviously yes. dice happen and play happens. Yes. So it's not it's not the end of the world to have a worse team, but I mean, yeah, that's for sure. all those. And the blocks, winner gets to play Danton. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty yes. cool. So Danton pretty happy that is. Uh... That he's, he's going to be up against uh, Dark Elves either way, right? Yeah, he's probably loving it, yeah, because he, he really, I mean, like, he rolled quads like, tw in, in twice in the same half versus twice. me, I think. Yeah. yeah. And still got the draw. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because he just annihilated my entire team in the second <laughs> half. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Who even needs tackle, right? Yeah. Now, this one is unfortunately, uh, this has already been played, so this is... <laughs> This is not the best preview. Um, yeah, a bit of a spoiler here, match. unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, we've got sick as eggs. Um, has egg. has now got a miss next game troll. So it did that come during a victor or defeat? We don't know. But um, you know, he did have this troll. <laughs> yep. At the start. It's pretty cool match. troll as well. Like right, because mm. it's got the it's got the garden block and stand firm as well. So uh, yeah, ended up being pretty great. Um, Shame with the Black Orcs, lost some Black Orcs close to the end. Uh, had some guys walk out, walk away, unfortunately. Just walk away. Uh, but yeah, um, but they're fine overall. Uh, that uh, I'm well. The viewers of Jimmy Fantastic will be familiar with that that, that juggernaut piling on jump up killer. Yeah. Uh, who ran rampant? It's and fair the to multiple say. Multiple dirty players. Yeah, and the multiple dirty players. You've even got a yeah. guard dirty There's player, which is pretty funny. <laughs> Um, and that uh, that strength up boy is some carrier. Uh, the stand firm on him as well. Just what a fucking tank. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a really really cool team. We'll see how uh, how he gets on. And six pretty good, you know. Yeah, he finished uh, fifth in Division One, and mm. he's up against Elados, who was eighth in Division Two. So mm -hmm. sure I shall try to find Elados now. Yeah, um, one of my uh, one of my tougher matchups this season. Um, oh god, so it's <laughs> bloody <playoffs>. Norse. Yeah. <laughs> it is indeed Norse. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, there you go. Um, so, uh, do have a guy missing. <laughs> <Hilarious>. <laughs> this guy's because moving four, actually. He's moving four, uh, yeah, and a Navy six. He's been, he's hilarious. I, 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 I got rid of him, and uh, other people have done some damage to him. And it's got to the stage where he's like, he's still got skills, right? <laughs> so you can't really do anything about like you don't want to fire him and you're certainly not using an apothecary on him but he won't die <laughs> uh, not, not a zombie <laughs> uh, exactly 
<laughs> has some tr- zombie-like traits. He really does. Yeah, oh. he's like if you're if you're within four inches, you're getting fierce frenzied. Yeah, and to be fair, he's got the jump up, hasn't he? So once he's yes. like once he's down, he's he's not that bad if he's not dead with armor <laughs> six. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, two lovely berserkers, uh, sorry, not berserkers, uh, two lovely ulfs, really, really nice, went the greedy way into the banger, get the block and get yeah. the guard on both, and one of them finished with stand firm. Shame about the armor seven and the other guy, not really that big a deal. Uh, lovely runner, uh, which you would assume would be his main ball carrier, but it isn't. He does pretty much everything with the hilarious other berserker, mm. who took edge up, then rolled doubles and got dodge, and then took tackle, because he remembered he was a berserker, and then... Rolled more doubles and forgot he was a berserker again, so that he could get leap. Yeah. Uh, so he's kind of a shit war dancer, except he's you know got frenzy, which I suppose makes him a shit war dancer. Yeah. But he's really fun, really really fun piece, and uh, yeah, he was an absolute terror. He fears no claw. <laughs> I think he fears everything. This guy. <laughs> Brilliant though. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. So yeah, that would be. I mean, you know. What's he called? Six just got to not get norsed, hasn't he? And you know, presumably yeah. his uh, his his tackle juggernaut Pommer will kill everything like it did versus me. So you know, like yeah, that's, uh, surely, surely it will just kill everything. I mean, it's just it's, it's all armor seven, right? We can imagine that it'll just go to town on everything because that's how games against the Norse tend to go, right? <laughs> yeah, for some people. <laughs> yeah, well, every, every time. Yeah, I've never been out bashed by Norse in my life. Yeah. Oh, now this is interesting. This next opponent. Now, this is uh, you know I'm not getting ahead of myself here, but I did know how all of the seeding worked, and there mm-hmm. was like a very interesting end to the season, and that there ended was. up Pybot ending up second in the first division, which meant that yes. that avoids me meeting him in the quarter final if I can get there, which I probably won't get past my round sixteen match to be honest. But you know, I, when I was looking at it during the season, I was like, oh no, I'm not looking forward to him winning this division. Because yeah. this is his team. <laughs> it's pretty fucking great. Uh, this for the, if you didn't know, this uh, Pybot is uh, Danton's son. Ah. Oh, so he's learnt a couple of tricks from the old man. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a lovely team. It's really, really nice. They've even got fucking claw, he's even got horns on his uh, claw palmer. Mm. Um, the chorfs are pretty nice, except well, except for the ones that are you know got left a little bit behind. He had to take some replacement chorfs uh, late in the season, but did get them up to guard, which is all that you can ask for, really. Uh, mm. He's got a really fun wrestle lad uh, who I wrestle strength up, uh, who I think he was trying really hard to get him level so that he could take the frenzy, um, but didn't get there in time. And uh, a perfectly great uh, ball carrier. Um, has pretty much everything you want. Maybe the doubles for dodge to finish him, but he's lovely. The kickoff return and everything, making up for anything else that he's got, his, his shit movement and what have you. And um, yeah, and a kick guard and a, uh, and a and a dirty player. So it uh, it does what it says on the tin. The bulls are lovely, aren't they? Yep, and and he's six away from this bull. I mean, obviously, if he stays in the competition for a few rounds, six away from this bull getting another skill, two away from this chalk getting guard. Four away from the strength four getting another skill. One away from the edge four getting another skill. So yeah, it's ready to get a lot better as well. An amazing, it really is, yeah. amazing team. Uh, yeah, I did not, I did not want to face this. Like when I had a good team, I thought, oh my god, I w- please keep me away from this team. But you know, yeah. now I don't. Now I don't fear this team anymore because I fear pretty much every team. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, another fellow competitor from Division Two. Um, yeah, uh, and I had a really fun game against them earlier in the season. Um, and uh, was very, very glad that I have regen and it wasn't reliant on one apothecary. Ah, yeah, yeah. So that's... Managed to get through fairly unscathed. I think he killed the same flash golem twice. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and ne- Necro are a funny matchup actually against Charles. But anyway, mm-hmm. let's let's keep moving. We've got, yep. he is up against Durfel, uh, you know, who is Uber Defel on Twitch. He won Division 6 and his sure reward. Did. For his uh, his lovely wardens, his militant vegetarians is a hilarious yeah, name, isn't it? It's really good, yeah. yeah. His record, 10 wins, 1 draw, no losses. Yeah, and, it's, but, it's, uh, it's pretty superb. But what a horrible matchup he's found himself against this it's monster chaff team. a nightmare, yeah. I mean, so, if he can stay alive, he has all of the tools he needs to win, right? Um and He doesn't even need a... to stay alive, he just needs to do it all in one half, doesn't he? If he can get 2-0 up yes. in one half. Yes, he's probably exactly. won. So uh, it's a it's a it's a winnable game, but it could be Pyrrhic. Mm. 
So, and uh, Durfle's a good, good, good coach, you know, has been in Chalice and uh, has done really, really well uh, getting this team up to here in, in one season. Because mm. uh, he, he only joined in, uh, in Division 6 means that he only doesn't joined this season. So mm. uh, has, has done really, really well to get himself all the way to the Cup with a, with a pretty tasty Woody team. Yeah, pretty tasty. I see what you did there. Indeed. But I saw this Beyond Meat and thought it was Beyonce Meat, which was... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if, uh, if that's good or bad. Right, but anyway... Uh, oh, now we've got... Look at the other at the other side of the draw. We've got the best, wood, uh, the best Dark Elf team that I've ever seen in my life. Four. But two games on from that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And now it's not the best team ever. It's gone from it's gone from I didn't realise how good the Witch Elf was until she died. This was yeah. the thing. She was like I think it's probably the best play I've ever had in Blood Bowl. Honestly, strength four, wrestle tackle, leap. It was just yeah. insane. You cannot you cannot nobody in you know, playing Blood Bowl can protect the ball from it. She was unbelievable and I just didn't realise and I only had her for a few I only had the strength up for a few games and then Poof, dead. And now, I don't mean, oh, there's some sidestep, there's a tackle pommer, there's an edge up, there's a move up. There is a strength up, but he hasn't got block or wrestle. And there's four guards, but they're all the four on guard seven. Is, the four guard is still really, really great. The tackle pommer is fantastic. Uh, it's it's still a pretty tasty uh, uh, dark elf team. You've got four rerolls as well, Jim, right? Yeah. yeah there's I might, a lot might, of stuff going on. I might yeah. have to remove a reroll and then... You know, buy a witch elf. It's still like it's just, it's just rough. It's just, it's just. I'm not, I'm not feeling it at all. I, I think mm. this is. There's only eleven players. Like, do you know what I mean? So I've kind of got to get a rookie witch for the twelfth player, which is yes. putting me up to like twenty fifty. It's like well, it'll, it'll give you something to put on the line. Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> oh, it's it's such a shame. It was, it was literally it so good, and now it just, yep. you know, it's got demolished. It just got killed by sick, basically, and then a That's bit right. by the next game as well. But. uh it's the nature of leagues, you know. You kind of hope mm. that you, the the timing happens where you 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 manage to get the stuff done, uh, you know, early or early in the season or halfway through the season, so you have enough time to rebuild. We talked about some of the lads losing some pieces earlier on, and you know, with Danton having enough time to get his his rookie wide up to guard, so that now he's done and he's fine and he's good enough to play, even though you've been missing the tackle palmer, but. Uh, yeah, uh, just unfortunate that the timing was that you didn't uh, you didn't have enough uh, uh, yeah. time to get a two witches back. But it's still a really nice team, and it's still you playing it. So you know. Yeah, and I still had the enjoyment of having the team and looking at the team every week and yes. thinking. <laughs> but that's the that's the thing about the witch. I didn't enjoy the witch as much as I should have done because yeah. she really was like the best play I've ever had. But anyway, uh, I'll be yeah. playing the winner of the next matchup, which is the winner of Division Four, Antonis. Mm. Um, up against Nodysseus, so Antonis has this fucking team. <laughs> yes, this fucking team. So Antonis, I should point out, is our reigning Ard Re, uh, meaning he's the person who won the, uh, the who won Era BB last season, last mm. cycle. So he is the reigning champ and uh, cycle cycle three winner. Uh, won it with dwarfs, and um, yeah, it's a <laughs> it's a fucking Amazon team. Good old, and the reason he's in Div 4 is because he came in with a fresh team uh, later than the start of the cycle. So this is a yes. two-season team. Yeah, two seasons only. He got all of this done in two seasons, starting off with a thousand teams. So, yeah, played ten less games, ten less games than everybody else. Yeah. So, has a couple of extra guys. Uh, I He likes to have a huge bench because uh, he likes to always have 11 on the pitch. It's just the way he plays, which is fair enough. Um the catch is getting to sidestep is pretty great. He does have two throwers as well, one of whom is actually a thrower, with defend and accurate and sure hands and everything. Um, all of that wrestle on all of those line women is an absolute pain, especially with two of them having guard. Um, has the the blitzers are fine. Um, there's not really anything else you need. Weird though that both the mighty blows. There's three mighty blows and then there's one tackle. So I think that was a mighty blow tackle that died. And he just realized he needed tackle. So in actuality, it's a little bit light on tackle, but he makes up for it with wrestle and the ability to kick anything in the head because he's got a fuck off bench. <laughs> and even though he's got 15 players, it's still pretty cheap. 
yeah, it's, it's an insane team, absolutely. And yeah. to, do, to do it in two seasons is uh, is wild. Yeah. But of course, my team was probably better after the second season than it was right yeah, now. Possibly, <laughs> possibly yeah, possibly. <laughs> but there you go. And uh, he is up against Nadisius, who was sixth mm. in Division Two. Was indeed um, humans. So uh, yeah, people were familiar with Nadisius from uh, from Chalice as well. Um, so uh, I hadn't realised he was Irish until we were joining the Air League, and he was like, "Oh, I'll join, jump in." And oh. uh, yeah, so lo- the lovely, lovely fella. And there you go. Uh, lives lives abroad, but is 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 Irish. Mm. Uh, but yeah, people were familiar with his name from uh, from having having brought I think humans mostly humans to to Chalice. Uh, so pretty cool team. It's f- super banged up. Um, the ogre is a new addition. He did have a really nice um, uh, ogre earlier on in the season, but uh, season one, I think. But he died. Uh, he's been through a couple of catches this season as well. Took a lot of attrition. In fact, the human teams all took a lot of attrition this season. I think there was a lot of people taking out the fact that they couldn't hit the elves <laughs> on on the poor old humans. Um, I mean, that's what happens to humans, right? Because they just they just haven't got it, basically. <laughs> it's high TV, yeah. so third division, them falling at third season, them falling apart is what you'd pretty much expect, to be fair. Yeah. Harsh reality I, of humans. <laughs> yeah, hundred uh, percent. Yeah, pretty guard light, unfortunately, because he had like loads of guard on his uh, on his blitzers, and he had a guard uh, ogre, and he had a couple of guard linemen, and it was all kind of fine. So he was able to take some kind of other skills on his on his uh, blitzers but all of those blitzers are replacements um and uh he can take so, guard yeah, on this one goes. right he should take guard because yeah yeah, yeah. He, he's got a tackle pommer and he's got he's, he's got one other tackle on this li- leader thrower the tackle mm-hmm. on the catcher obviously isn't going to be able to blitz people because he's strength two so yeah it's so it's like he's got to take the guard and just pray that he dices the absolute pants <laughs> off of Antonis yeah, I think <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely going to be it's going to be a tough game but um but i i mean i, I know that he's going to be up for it uh it's going it's going to be it's going to be cool yeah looking forward to it yeah, very very tough game mm. right and next is saigarai mm-hmm. if i can find him <laughs> right so yeah uh we've got an undead team uh spoilers ahead that uh it's going to trigger anybody who uh doesn't like the ordering uh system. <gasps> oh my god ban this man yeah, I know. Admins, <laughs> admins, ban this man. <laughs> oh, I, no, no, yeah. <laughs> no. So, fourth in Division Two, no, yeah. just Fuck. no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody I think is this is a regular out. cycle thing. I, I believe yeah, he, he does, does it all the time. Yeah. <sighs> it's to do with the it's to do with the the theme of the lads and where they all stand in the roster is uh, is how they're all numbered. So he has real life teams and they're all numbered like this as well. Uh, but to to parse all of the information here, he's got two mummies in there. One of them is strength up. One of them is guard and break tackle and uh, stand firm, which is pretty great. He does have four ghouls. Uh, one of them is a full blood stepper with leader as well, so he does get himself a fourth reroll. Um, uh, sorry, there's only three ghouls in there, aren't there? Yeah, cool. Uh, one of them is a rattler. One of them is a is 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 a rookie. Uh, has uh, two whites as well, uh, one with guard, mighty blown tackle, and the other one is just guard. Um, has you know block and some dirty players and some other stuff as well. But overall, it's uh, it's got a lot of extras. It's got a lot of wounds, and it's uh, a bit beaten up for uh, an undead team. But I really um, think six mummies coming as standard this year. I really, yeah. I'm, it's really funny that. Um, we uh, we we have kind of hilarious things happen in the division that seem like they're kind of rare, and then everybody gets one, like the blocks of gores. Um, in the, the season cycle two, uh, everybody who was playing uh, dark elves ended up with a strength four witch for some reason. Um, I think two of our witches were, were uh, myself and uh, Wander Boys both had a strength four uh, mighty blow witches, uh, mm. which is pretty hilarious. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of um, there's, there's there's a bunch of strength six mummies around the place. <laughs> wow. So the team team is fine. It can do a lot of work. It's a bit expensive for what it is, um, but he he tends to put the boot in, and he's pretty uh, vicious. With yeah, the, I remember him fouling a lot. I think I think I yes. played him, and uh, he fouled a lot. But he, he, all, all of the time, like his sixteen fouls a turn a uh, game is 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 his usual. So he's up against PK eighty three, fighting the good fight for properly ordered team. Though he could have had werewolves one and two. 
but he's, yeah. he's done for the flesh he's one one and, and two quite, so you know flesh, one and two, but yeah. we won't begrudge him that but you know at least he's at least he's ordered it uh, properly so yeah you know well, obviously got to be cheering on cheering on my, my, my fellow division one uh, competitor from uh, finished a squeaked in an eighth above uh, Chavita in ninth and tapioca in tenth it yeah, went down so to the wire right down to the wire so did manage to get into the cup so fair play to him um, it's a cool team shame about the rookie ghoul uh, lost a ghoul very late which is a shame um, the wolves are fucking great uh, both move nine one of them strength up um, it's it's pretty it's pretty awesome shame about the niggle on one of them but sure what are you going to do right um, white's a little bit lacking as well but they're, they're, they're fine and the ghouls are pretty solid exactly what you'd expect so there's no real fat on it um, yeah it's a cool team yeah yeah there you go. That's that one. Right. And yeah. then uh, the winner of that will be playing the winner of our next bracket. Oh, it's Keith. It's Keith. Is oh, this hey, that? Hey. <laughs> is this that? Here he is, our very own Keith Mm. And with uh, chaos. Yes, with chaos, yeah. So he had, and he's still upset about the loss of poor old Machu Picchu. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So Machu Picchu was this amazing move eight ball hawk with the uh, with move eight blodge with uh, sure hands who was his ball and obviously he failed at GFI and died uh, dead into dead really really sad yeah rip rip pour one out boys uh, so the team's pretty solid it's fine it's unfortunate because chaos and they don't really do well and if you take some casualties it's tricky to get them back up and running. Um, yeah. It scored a lot of touchdowns, this team, and has really good defense, but doesn't have a huge amount of skills. Two naked guard is a bit unfortunate. The uh, the, the warriors are fine, uh, but didn't fully get to guard. The strength five is great, but he's now move four. Uh, the claw mighty is obviously scary, but that guy does absolutely nothing. <laughs> he does nothing. He just walks around tickling lads. <laughs> and uh, the the other guy, uh, he went with block instead of giving giving him uh, piling on, oh. like a, like a, I don't know. He just doesn't understand banging. He doesn't, does he? Is he had like a, I think he had like a, a cast difference of about two or something, which is like crazy. It's, so like it's hilarious how often these guys, yeah, minus cast difference, yeah. yeah, yeah. So as I said to him, like he's a filthy banger, but he's also just a, a bad banger. Right, is the is the only amount of information we can get out of that. Yeah, yeah. but you know, so, a tickle monster. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, but look, top division three, despite despite yeah. not despite being out banged as chaos, is pretty amazing. So yeah, yeah, great, it's great, for great. Him. Because well, I mean, great. it's the it's just unfortunate that while he's trying to bang and do cool shit, he accidentally plays some decent blood ball <laughs> and uh, and wins. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, and he's up against. I can't say this. You're gonna have to say this for me here, Kalon. Oh, am I? Oh, uh, it's the pay limitations, and this is uh, spelling the stacks, isn't it? It's Riley a Oh, it's Riley a Colnami. Sorry, Riley okay. a Colnami. That's a quite easy. Sorry, to say pay that. limitations. Yeah, Riley. It's a. I think it's a lol reference. I don't know. Mm. He's a fucking nerd, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, buddy. Uh, absolutely, absolutely fucking charming, charming young man. He's really, really nice. He was over with us in uh, at the World Cup. Actually, on uh, Sikazek team playing for Team Fumble with um, uh, with PC. Mm. Uh, so uh, he's, he's lovely, lovely, and really, really nice. Uh, right. So for Tomb Guard, yeah, he didn't realize he was going to be in. Oh, Spork, you were in charge of all of this, yeah. Uh, with well, the, the three-way tie, tie, yeah. Oh mm. fucking hell! I don't want to think about. it. <laughs> so there was we a had three a three-way way tie. Yeah. Like we discovered in the code, Spike does not work with three-way ties. Um, <laughs> I had to read the code. That was fun. Um, so we 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 did a manual calculation of like uh, if it was win loss draw three points one point zero point head to head only, what would the order be? So everybody's happy now, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, uh, it it came down to the wire, and the lads had to kind of get together and work out, and then assign points to the lads and recalculate it all, and then. As a result of that, the three-way time meant that uh, that Riley had got in, and the other two did not. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, he wasn't expecting to get in because uh, he thought he was lost on head to head, I believe. But it wasn't it, the the way it worked out was actually correct because uh, the lads put a load of work in. So uh, it's Camry. Uh, he hates playing Camry, which is really funny. <laughs> he meant to start a new team at the end of last season, but forgot to tell anybody. <laughs> was locked in. 
So, um, yeah, so the Skellies are a bit shit, but who cares? They just kick things and get in the way. Uh, the thrower is pretty decent. Um, you always end up with a blodged thrower, don't you? Um, mm. The two tackles is pretty great, but is a little bit shy on guard. So kind of nearly there, but not quite good enough. The two top um, uh, Tomb Guardians are great. Really, really nice. Uh, you know, the only thing you're missing really is block. But, yeah. Um, yeah, but, Javita's, you know. Javita's t- team uh-huh. looked about 100 times better than that. Yeah. <laughs> slight, yeah. slight exaggeration, but he had like three blocks sure. and stuff, didn't he? But he yeah, did, this is yeah. this is all right. Like he's got four mighty blow, he's got four guard, so mm-hmm. um, it's just going to come down to if they stay on the pitch versus the uh, the claws, isn't it? Is going to be the big thing? But if they do yeah. manage to to stick around, it's going to be sad times for for Keith. That's going to be that's going to be hard to deal with if you if you don't deal with them. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like if, if he gets lucky and removes them pretty quickly, then it's going to be messy. But uh, if he doesn't remove them, it's good. It's that's hard to deal with. It's, yeah. Wall of or, you know, Strength which is the real problem with Camry. You end up removing them, and then they come back on. And you're like, yeah. oh, for fuck's sake! Yeah. Well, I'd, I'd take that in some of my games. I just don't remove them at all. <laughs> right? Yeah, sure. <laughs> but like, if you remove some, you'll get more hits and stuff only. So it'll, it'll help yeah. for the half at least if he gets yep, removals. Go. But uh, mm-hmm. right, and here's Galentio now. He uh, he won Division Two. Uh, he did indeed, yeah. And it, it just it just snaffled it off Pybot at the end. Unbelievable. That's right. Yeah, Pybot, Pybot losing to Saigra in his horribly uh, organised team in the <laughs> yeah. last game. And, uh, and that actually uh, giving giving Galentio the lift that he needed. Uh, so here we go. So lots of levels pending, which is pretty great. Mm. Um, that fucking leaper ruined my day. And I was... <laughs> Oh my god! He, oh my god! I'm still annoyed about how good that leaper was. I was like, I can handle one leap, lad. He's agility four only. It'll be fine. They're three pluses. Mm. Uh, so yeah, he did. Uh, he did work against me. But uh, yeah, it, the team has pretty much all you want. A uh, bunch of ancillary chaff, which aren't really that ancillary or chaff anymore, because they've all got Raj and whatnot. Um, the thrower is pretty f- f- functional. Uh, even has kick on, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that he can stay on. The blitzes are nice with two levels pending there. Uh, a mighty blow tackle catcher is pretty great. Uh, so despite the move bust, I mean, he's fine. He, that guy gets uh, kept nice and safe. And uh, yeah, it's a cool team. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it's loads of money. Aeanthus Tirnanog is uh, the... So yeah, it's the, the, the people of uh, Tirnanog, which is uh, an Irish myth. Uh, uh, the land of youth. And uh, yeah, so it means the the people from the land of the young, fairies and, re- and shit, fairies and shit. And the redux is because uh, unfortunately his uh, he had the concede or the the uh, error earlier in, in season one, so he had to make a duplicate team. Mm. I like that he's got. I like that he's got a <laughs> fucking black orc speed lineman. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hilarious, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, you know, fuck it. He still takes hits instead of anybody else, right? I yeah, mean, all he has no, to do yeah. is stand up, right? Yeah, you've got to, you've got to keep him. It's just, it's just funny to see, isn't it? <laughs> I, I should point out all of the, uh, na- the the names of all of the people are all people who lived up there now as well. So he did a lot of uh, research into the history, which is very, very nice of him. Mm, lovely. Great way of uh, ingratiating himself, and he isn't busy, you know, on Keith's channel being a racist. Uh, so he was nice elsewhere. And when he's not busy making every single fucking KO roll. <laughs> <laughs> and he might be, well, I mean, a good chance to be facing, looking at how good his team is, Kalon with his tree yeah. dogs. Yeah, so uh, uh, my team's okay. Uh, it's, I, that fucking, that, that uh, flesh golem has my heart broke, lads. He just won't level. <laughs> just won't level the amount of effort I've put into trying to get him to level, but I can't. He's making, uh, making edging videos on uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's exactly <laughs> <laughs> from nowhere. Oh, brilliant! Uh, that's great. Uh, it's got me properly giggling. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, uh, overall really, really great. Finally got the tech to the killer up to killer to be a killer. Um, Mighty Blow on the Wolf is pretty nice. Um, the ghouls are fine. Uh, shame to get the niggle really early on on the uh, on the edge four, but I just couldn't fire him because he's kind of fine and he tends not to get hit. 
but um, he has rolled a double and is going to be taking guard, so his life expectancy has dropped considerably. Oof. But uh, but that's fine too, because fuck it, I need guard and it'll be good. I mean, at the moment, his life expectancy is about four games anyway, isn't it? So uh, exactly. So yeah, the, <laughs> if he if he manages to get into a position and give me a couple of extra hits in the game, and I really need the fucking help, um, then I was fine. fierce generous of you there, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Well, five, isn't it? Five is the longest he can make. No, I, I, I was thinking about one. Yeah, yeah, no, I know, I know, I know he is, but like you know, like, that, that's the well, most he can live is five more sure. games anyway. Yes. So, so who I cares? At the end of the day, this is the point where everything gets put on the line for the victory, doesn't it? So yeah, yeah, 100%, that's yeah. correct. But I don't like these tackles on the walls, right? Like I would have gone sidestep personally, side you know, step, just for, the, yeah, for them being better. But obviously, if you end up facing uh, one of the uh, you know the Amazons. In the in the quarterfinal, yes. maybe or or Galentio, uh, which is oh yeah, that's actually so you do face Galentio if you win this. Yes. So then tackle will look amazing. Galentio is also in my division, which is why that guy had tackle, and then the other guy rolled mighty blow, and I took it. And then because I was up against some other stuff, I, I realized I, I I needed to take tackle. I would have one hundred percent ordinarily taken. The, Glorious. Uh, the, the, the no, step, I won't give wasn't. in mm. until I'm victorious, yeah. and I will defend. <laughs> I will defend. Thank you very much, J5. Stay Stop reminding me of my bad decisions. For Twitch. Over four years. Unbelievable. Incredible. Thank you so much, J5. Absolutely glorious. And uh, yeah, really, really great team for Kalon. Finished fifth in Division 2. And Indeed. is up thought, against. If, yeah, if you thought this looked like a nice uh, necromantic team, will you get a load of this, lads? Are you facing a better one, Galabran? I am. It's, it's, it's so much better. Really? Oh man, it's so much better than that. Oh god, I don't, I, I don't want to see it now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, great to see you, J5. Uh, thanks so much, buddy. Uh, an excellent member of the community. And uh, that's an incredible amount of time. Well, yeah, you're not, you're not lying. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not lying. It's fucking gorgeous. It, I mean, it's somewhat similar, Quite right? Bit, the flesh is yeah. wow. and... I mean, the flesh is so much better. The flesh, like I can't, I could barely get my one of mine to guard. He's gone past guard and has mighty blow on both of them. Mm, strength four is really nice, but again, I'd rather I'd rather go size up the movement. Honestly, I'm I'm not really a fan of the movement. We've we've got three. We've seen three move up were, werewolves, and it's like, mm -hmm. I think if you've already got the edge, maybe move. But I think before that, I think they just get so much out of like skills. Side step. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Isn't glad to agree. Another... He's nearly uh, got another skill on him, so he might get mighty blow or, or sidestep yeah. after he after he beats Kalon in the first round. So he's rolled a double on the on the the mighty blow lad. So yeah. uh, he was he was like, well, I'm gonna. I was thinking of taking sidestep, and I was like, no, you're taking piling on, like, like 100. percent you're taking. Oh, he rolled a double. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I, don't, I'd I mean, you take know, sidestep. <laughs> Would you? Well, because he, he's playing you, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, well, I already contacted him when we had a nice chat about it. It's piling on, hundred percent. It's piling. Well, on. well, the thing is, if he piles on against anybody, like first of all, half of the the teams, the players you're exposing are zombies that he yeah. doesn't want to pile on, and you'll foul him if he piles on because you've got millions of zombies to pile on. Oh, I'll in, totally so, foul them. Yeah. So to win, to win this next match, piling on is rubbish. Sidestep mm. is better, and then to win his next match, if he piles on with him versus like an elf, then yeah. he's probably you know not going to do much after that, and he's already got the tackle pommer to hit the elves anyway. So like sidestep to be a better defensive player. So like I I I would genuinely go sidestep um, for the next two matches, and then winning the whole tournament. I don't know. It's, that's asking a lot, right? Like that's yeah. There's so many matchups to cut the possible matchups outside the first two, but knowing that he's playing you and then Galentio like that really puts it towards sidestep for me mm. personally personally I feel like Pommer is a bit Fair rubbish play. versus Necro well, uh, I mean it's Palm right it's Claw Palm right uh, it, is claw palm. it is Claw Palm it is Claw Palm like you know if, if he if he if he dices you a bit yeah you know and he gets up and he's got all the guard if he guard locks you and if he can protect the fouls then it's gonna turn maybe it's like you know a slight advantage into a massive advantage but you yeah. know, me being me, I don't like to go for those things as much as something that will give me a chance when the chips are down. Because I feel like sure. if I've got a slight advantage, that should be enough for me anyway. But yeah. uh, you know, like that, it's it is fair enough. But I think you do need a bit of a. I do think you need to beat eke out a bit of an advantage to really make use of the piling on on him. Um, but yeah, 
yeah, it's interesting. And you could kit jugs as well, but I, I don't like yeah, it. Yeah, jugs as well is another option, but uh, jump up are, uh, uh, was the other thing that he was talking about, and I was like, no, it's, it, it should be pomp, but um, uh, sidestep is the other option. I told him to go talk to Shibide about it as well. Mm. Um, I wanted to have a big conversation with him about what we were both doing, because we both have things that we can cut, and I don't want to be getting into a cutting war. And you know. <laughs> This is why it's a bad idea to have Jimmy telling Kalen to move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you both to move on. Okay. Thank, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> thanks. 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 Right. Then we've got the we're down the last the last uh, well quarter of the draw here. No, we're already yeah. in the last quarter. We're in the last eighth of the draw. We've got mm. Crow Dog versus Riot Killer. Cool. Uh, yes, J Five. Uh, it's a straight uh, knockout tournament. The guys who did top some of the divisions get a buy in the first round, and uh, then join in in the second round. So mm. uh, nice and straightforward. Yep. Uh, so Crow Crodog, um, excellent, excellent fella, lovely team. Uh, just lost his dancer last game. Oof, terrible. Yeah, uh, a a strip tackle, mighty blow. Dead into dead. Oof, pretty rough. Yeah, last game of the season. Um, took a bit of couple. He's shipping a couple of injuries, but uh, overall it's fine. Um, multi block on the tree man. Yeah, multi block on the tree man. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it's kind of fun, right? It's the third skill. What are you going to give it? Uh, break tackle. Break tackle. Yeah. yeah. I still think that. I think the mighty blow is really fun. Yeah, it's it's fun. It's fun. Like it, it's more like something you do with a halfling tree, right? Because you've got you've got re rolls for him. Uh, which right. without re rolls, you probably just want a three D on an L, on a on an elf team, but. Like with loners, sorry, not without reels. You know what I mean? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah. laughing at the twelve. What else at the end of the season is cheating? You're dead right. <laughs> crazy, yeah. Um, <laughs> Chris Tree for walking. <laughs> yeah, they're really great names. They're really funny. Put a lot of time and effort into it. So we, there's a era BB on Sunday night. Is uh, run by our good friend Spelling Mistakes, and he he judges the team names as well, and he he'll be quick to tell you if they're bad. Mm. Um, so there we go. Pretty nice. Yeah, pr pretty brutal. And still 1800 TV, even after losing the dancer. That, that's L's for you, isn't it? This kind of yeah. TV. Uh, pretty brutal. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah. Second in Vision Tree. Mm, yeah, he did it. Nice season. Uh, he's a really great coach. Uh, has rep represented Ireland uh, at tabletop more than any other player. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> and is a lovely fella. And as Ori says there, he's a BBT vet as well. He's, oh, wow. Um, yeah, he's pretty great, lovely fella from just up the road, and he's oh, he's a dote. Yeah. And he's and he's playing Ryan Killer, so it's a Wood Elf. It's a Wood Elf mirror. It is indeed. Yeah, a Wood Elf what, mirror. What are the chances of that? Ryan Killer finished <laughs> third in Division Four, and uh, yeah, this is wow. I just six catcher. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, I know, right? I know. Wow, he's really fun. The uh, I I don't like fancy on word answers, but that's fine. The move tree tree. How mm. cool is that? Another move tree tree. Very cool. Um, and a bunch of uh, dodge, including one Raj lineman. It's a shame that the Roger is the guy with the edge bust. But... Yeah, yeah. I thought so. He only had two seasons, right? He only had two seasons. Man, if he'd had the third season, if they hadn't died, so he would have had yes. like ultimate one turner. Oh, just unbelievable! And, uh, yeah. And a, you know, more on this edge five catcher as well. That would have been unbelievable. This could have been. Yeah. An, I mean, this is like this could have been one of the best players of all time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, but uh, tragically, his career tragically cut short by entering late. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I mean, fair play to Reich for getting this team up uh, that quickly as well. It's a it's a really nice team. Uh, has played a lot of uh, really tough opponents and uh, and managed to get all the way. Fuck off, Jimmy. So yeah, it's going to be really fun. Yeah, nice one, nice one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thanks. You have to you have to take it now in Blood Bowl twenty twenty, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they don't they don't come with it anymore. Yeah, you were finally right. You were just ahead of your time. That's oh, exactly, right. exactly. Yeah. yeah, but he, you know, he nearly got like sidestep right, and then sure feet, and it would have been amazing. But yeah, four, four. What a player! What a player! Mm -hmm. um, so right. really cool game. Can't wait for that one. That's going to be really, really fun. Two really good Wood Elf coaches up against each other, and uh, hopefully we get to see four war dancers die. Who doesn't want that? <laughs> well, Jedi Bear would certainly like to see four dead war dancers in that game because he's playing the winner of that. Um, well, I'm not saying whoa, 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 whoa. He's got a chance of playing the winner of that. Sorry, I was yes. getting ahead of myself there. He's up against Papa Bow. Um, he is up against Papa Bow. 
And yeah, this there wasn't a spoiler by the way. They haven't played. I just I just misspoke. Yeah. It was just like you know the winner of that plays the winner of this. I've got no so idea yeah. who's up, you know what the team is or anything. Yeah, so uh, Jetty uh, again, your uh, fans of the show will be familiar with Jetty. You got to play him like, two, 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 two games ago. Yeah, um, killed a rookie and, witch. Uh, he did kill a rookie witch. Yeah, uh, so really nice team. Uh, the bulls pretty much perfect. The, the top wolf is pretty much uh, top wolf. The top bull is pretty much perfect, right? Yep. Um, has the horns guy? Oh, so sad. That guy being moved three makes me so sad every time I see him. <laughs> but he's still like absolute, like you know, very, very short range killer. Yeah. Um, and the uh, ball carrier vampire, pretty great. And uh, some ancillary chaff. The two TPs is lovely as well. Jetty's pretty tidy player. Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty pretty strong team. I think he'll you'll have a good chance. Um, where did he finish? He finished fourth uh, in fourth, yeah, Division in 1. Division one. Yeah, which yeah. is a really respectable finish. Just one one spot off uh, getting the bye. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of really good players in there. I mean, he did well against you. He did well against Danton. Did, he got a, a nice result against Elliot as well. Yeah. So, um, yeah, pretty great. Sick did beat him, I think. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Cool season and um, yeah, great team. Looking forward to it. Yeah, and he's up, so he's up against Papa Bow. Yeah. Yeah. No idea. No idea what teams like a lot of these. Sure, the sure, The lower sure. division. Papa's on are. the Necromantic. Oh, another one. <laughs> yes. Least, I think the, I think all of the Necromantic made it to the finals. There's a lot of. There's a lot. There's five of us, and we all made the, the playoffs. Yeah. Is he? Is to he? The best in? Of my knowledge. Yeah. Uh, he is, yeah. He's. Uh, I, I was looking at his team earlier on today. Um, oh yeah, I found it. Yeah, took me a while. Yeah, North Riding. That's it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> a mummy. He's got a mummy. He's turned a he's flesh into a mummy. mummy. <laughs> yeah, he's got a mummy, which is pretty fucking great to be honest with you. Um, yeah, full uh, mighty blow tackle, sidestep, werewolf, absolutely gorgeous, and uh, another uh, mighty blow. Uh, sidestep werewolf but no tackle on him That's pretty gorgeous right yeah what nice. a pair of wolves um ghouls are pretty nice as well with the move up and the and the guard on that fella being pretty useful because you want as much guard as you can uh did lose a fleshy recently so uh that's why that guy didn't get the guard and um yeah it's just great it's just really really good doesn't have a mighty boat killer white because uh, they're kind of ancillary staff of just providing guards so that the wolves can go and kill anything that they look at. Yeah, and, and it's got suffering from the Kalon syndrome of not being all oh, these. Actually, just had this guy die loads of times. That's the yes. That's the third fleshy. So he's trying to get him it's up to guard yeah. as well. Yeah, he's he's actually you know managed to do stuff on his mind. My guy just remember when I said earlier that um, uh, Pybot killed the same guy twice. It was it was that guy. It was that guy. <laughs> Nice. It's stuff like the I, I was I was like uh, playing Dave and was like oh, I really need to get some SPP on this guy and he got hit by a rock and woke up on turn sixteen. <laughs> yeah, he's just like it's kind of funny because you have a recurring you know joke on the same guy and the relationship you have with your, with your team is kind of funny. But yeah, yeah, that guy that guy fucking broke my heart. <laughs> right, so there you go. So that that is that is the uh, the thing. That everybody. Yeah, that's everybody. That's the and that's the draw. And uh, and yeah, I'll link the. Uh, I don't know if the draws on the website. So there's a website that I can link, and I can link the Discord, and I can link this uh, this sheet as well. Um, there's also like another cup, right? There's like a skull cup as well. Mm -hmm. um, there is. We'll the... cover that. I'll cover it tomorrow, Wednesday, on uh, on the Sport Bearer channel because uh, it's the it's a it's the Europa League version. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So, because it's good, isn't it? Because then, like everyone stays, uh, remains a bit more engaged with the league, isn't it? When they're not when exactly. they're on the playoffs, so yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, hundred percent. And uh, and Shavita is in there, so that's yeah. kind of fun. Yeah, he's yeah. going to be a menace. Yeah, <laughs> but I love this cup. Uh, like the way it's looking, like there's a lot of games which are just really hard to call, even with the seeding. You yes. know, it's a it's a minor advantage, but we've got a lot of really good coaches in some of those lower divisions sometimes like Antonis they haven't uh, 
you know they they didn't have a chance to qualify all the way to the very top divisions because they came in later yeah um maybe you know taking their time developing their teams submarinering their way to you know the cup success and that's a valid strategy as well right uh so there's a there's a lot of uh, really interesting games yeah yeah, I I did try to su- submarine myself, but uh, that last that last season in the top division, you know, cost me the last few games. But uh, but you know, yeah. obviously, great to get a bye, isn't it? Because games of Blood Bowl are so hard to win. That's um, the thing, yeah. And I mean, those 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 spots that are up for grabs, I think, uh, really really make you want to try to play as good as Blood Bowl as you can to get to Division One for season three. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Yeah. Like I always target from from finding out the uh, the rough. The mm-hmm. rough makeup of it, I I thought right, I'm going to try and get in Division One for the last season, and then yeah. and then up that. But um, yeah, really cool anyway. So yeah, I guess I'll do all of the replays from the round of sixteen on because then that's quite simple, isn't it? That'll be yeah, that'll be only eight games, and then four, awesome. and then two, and then one. Whereas yeah, mm-hmm. there's a lot of games here, and there's obviously all the planes going on as well. So mm. the planes are taking a lot of time up. A lot of time, yeah. Well. So yeah, so. Best to start on the round of sixteen, but I'll put them all up. Um, at, you know, at the multi the era BB playlist, and uh, yeah, and Ke- uh, Keith and I will probably be uh, covering all of the initial round as well. So we'll make sure that there's uh, lists available, or we'll make sure that there's vods available for that. Glorious, glorious. There you go. Thank you very much, Spoke Baron Kalon. Being glorious having you in the booth. Uh, thanks, thanks for having Bob. us. Yeah, really, really appreciate it. Good being luck here. with your games. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. And you too, guys. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.